Jen and DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a back and biceps workout. So for this workout, we're going to be doing nine exercises in total, and we're going to be doing them one at a time. We're going to do four sets of each exercise. Our working time is 30 seconds, our break time is 15 seconds, and then in between the different exercises, we'll then take a 30 second extended break. If you like this workout, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and be sure to join the community at AchievePeak.com. Now let's get to work. All right, we got about 30 seconds until we get started. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout. Now, the first exercise we're going into is bicep curls. So grab our equipment. So from here, what we're going to do is have our palms facing out. And then we're gonna curl up, squeeze the biceps, come back down. There we go. If you want, you can start out palms by your side, just hanging, neutral grip, and then come up if you wanna do it that way as well. There we go. Coming up and then down. Good controlled movements here. Make sure that your elbows aren't coming back and then pushing forward. We're not getting shoulders and back. On this movement, we're just focusing on the biceps. Good controlled movements. Come up, squeeze, back down. Come up, squeeze, back down. If it starts to get too heavy, you can always alternate. Just do one and then the other. There we go. Set one, it's done. I think I'm actually gonna go up and wait here. And then if I have to, I can alternate. Going up. Let's go. Time to make moves today. Here we go. Whoo! That's a big difference right there. 10 pounds. Let's go. Oh, I gotta start off right today. Burn the biceps up first. That way we can keep feeling the burn while we're getting in the rows. Keep good form. One more. Whew, there we go. I feel like these are a little loose here on this side. Going back into it here. A couple seconds. My arms are on fire. Let's go. Coming up, squeeze, coming down. Let's go. Come on, squeeze, back down. Squeeze back down. Uh, let's go. Come Ooh. on. Here we go. Push it out. Uh, come on. Squeeze and get a little hold. Come down. Woo. Woo. Uh, <laughs> my biceps are on fire. I feel like I had to go up since you went up a little bit. After this set, my workout's about to be over. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Let's go. Alright, I gotta alternate. Come on. Burn it up. Let's go. Squeeze the bicep. Squeeze the bicep. One more double. Uh, whew, there we go. All right, we got a 30 second break, and then we're going in to single arm bent over rows. So if you want, um, we're gonna get a split stance here, and then we just need one dumbbell, and then you're only gonna be holding it with one hand, even if you have bent or dumbbells. From here, put the front hand on the knee, and then we're gonna row come back down. Make sure to go all the way down, come all the way up, squeeze. Here we go. Come up, squeeze. Hopefully you're still feeling that bicep now. I'm grabbing my band with both, on both sides, so I definitely, I don't have handles. I'm just going under, I'm placing it under my foot. Make sure you grab both sides with one hand, and then you choke up as much as you need to really feel that resistance. There you go. Oh. Oh. Let's go, last one. Ah. Alright, second set, we're switching sides. So we'll do left, right, left, right, or right, left, right, left. I did do my left, I was on my left. 
Mm-hmm. Right hand. Right arm, yeah. <laughs> this is rows, not legs. Actually, that's Here we go. Legs <laughs> you always got legs on the mind. Here we go. Remember to switch sides. All the way down, all the way up, squeeze the back. Right now your palms are facing towards you. Neutral grip position. So if you just let your hand hang, wherever that palm is facing, that's where it should stay. Let's go. Keep that back nice and straight. Here we go. Going back to our original side here. I still feel it in my biceps. I'm not even going to lie here. I definitely feel it in my back, but... So I went with the pre-exhaust on the biceps first here. Come on. Squeeze. Back down. Squeeze. Back down. Focus on the back here. Come up. Squeeze the back. Back down. There we go. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. Feeling good. Final set right here, and we're moving on. Here we go. Let's go. And row. Down. And row. Down. Squeeze the back. All the way up. All the way down. Feel the stretch out at the bottom. Let's go. <laughs> Freaking Bruce. Come on. Keep pushing. There we go. 30 second break. And then we're going in to clean pools. Get some water if you need it. So clean pools, we're gonna start with our feet just past shoulder width. From here, we're gonna drop down just a little bit, bring it up, come back down. From the side, here, boom, back down. For our bands, you can either do it this way and pull, or you can put it just under one foot and then pull yep. with the opposite hand. There you go. Coming up, down, up, down. There we go. So we're keeping that back nice and straight. We're not bending like this to do this. We're dropping it, the knees and hips coming up. You don't have to drop a bunch. You could just pretty much come to here, pull it up, back down. Pull it up, back down. Or you can drop a little further, help that momentum, use that momentum to help it. Come up, that way you can use a little bit heavier weight. Going to the opposite side here. I think I'm gonna do this. It might be a little easier on your shoulder too, if you just put it under uh, one side. Yep. And it'll hold the rest of this so it doesn't. Yeah, with the bands, that way, when you get all the way to the top, there's not an excess amount of resistance on your shoulder. And when you're using one, just one side instead of hit under both. Let's go. Come on. There we go. You can actually do a little more with the one sided. There you go. So, let me go up. Stepping it up a notch. Here we go, a couple seconds. Set three, clean pulls back to the original side. Let's go. Come on. Push it. Let's go. Come on, 10 seconds. Keep going. Push it out. Let's go, one more. There we go. Let me keep that back nice and straight. Nice, strong back here. Bending at the hips and knees. Here we go. Four set. Let's go down, up, down, up. Push it out. 
Let's go. Halfway. Come on. Up, squeeze down. Push it out. Oh, we got one more. There we go. 30 second break, and then we're going in to W raise. W raise, use light resistance. Trying to focus on the burn here. So we're going to start with our hands right there at our thighs, slight bend in the elbows. We're going to bring it up, make that W elbow stay nice and low. Come back. Your hands are pretty much making like a half circle. Just like that. Here we go. Coming up, W, back down. When you come up, squeeze the back, come back down. Another thing you can do is as you come up, rotate your thumbs backwards like you're hitching a ride. And squeeze, come back. Squeeze, come back. You don't need heavy resistance. There we go. So one is done. Cruising through this thing, huh? Nice and easy. Right here at the halfway Quick. point, right? Close. Just about, just about. Close. Here we go. Back, squeeze. Really good. Let's go. I'm going to get that squeeze. You can even get a little pause back there. Hold it for a second. Come back. Hold it. Come back. Remember our elbows aren't coming way up here. They're coming here. Stay nice and low. Squeeze. Here we go. Tighten this one up. Going to step three. You trying to change it up on us? I saw you put it down. Oh. And it messed up. <laughs> Here we go. Keep going. Keep burning it up. Here we go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Now it's starting to catch fire. The third set, that's where it happens. Let's go. Remember to point those thumbs back if you want. Come on. Here we go. That one just keeps coming loose. We got one more set. Here we go. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I was really about to do the same thing. <laughs> Come on. Squeeze and back. Squeeze and back. We're gonna keep the elbows nice and low. Come on. Try to up the resistance on the last one. Did you? On the first. There you go. Right. Let's get one more. There we go. All right, 30 second break. And then we're going in to single arm reverse grip row. So this time, we're gonna get back into that split stance position, except our palm is gonna be facing out in front of us. So originally our palm was pretty much facing towards us. This time we're rotating the palm, it's facing out. The elbow is gonna stay nice and close to the body. We're gonna pull it up to the hip. Here we go. So coming up, pulling it up to the hip, back down. You're almost pulling up and back. You can see it starts here, but I'm not coming up. I'm coming up and back to the hip, coming back down. <sighs> Keeping the elbow nice and close to the body. The elbow is not flaring out like this. It's staying tucked. Palm stays facing forward. Squeeze. <sighs> there we go. So you should be feeling right here in that lat, the outside of the back. Switching arms here. Let's go. Coming up, squeeze. You should be feeling it right here. It's a lot easier to hold it with your thumb. 
pointing out. Yeah. Oof. For the reverse. <sighs> Let's go. <clears throat> out or away from me, I guess is what I should say. <laughs> Sometimes it's tough to explain. I know, I'm like, out where? Out of what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, here we go. Whew. Breaking a nice little sweat now. Here we go. Back to the original side here. Remember when you come up, get that contraction, get that squeeze. Here we go. Bring it up. You can even get that little hold and then come down. Come up, get the hold and come down. Elbow stays nice and close to the body. Come on. Let's go. Bring it up to the hip and then back down. Up to the hip, back down. All the way down, all the way up. When you come down, you should feel everything kind of stretch out and then come up. Last one. There you go. Also remember, keep the back nice and straight. Here we go. Fourth set here. Let's get ready. Coming up to the hip, and then back down, stretch it out. Come up, squeeze, back down, stretch it out. Let's go. Good solid reps here. Come on. Push it out. Let's go. Last one, get a little hold, hold, hold. There we go. Here we go. 30 second break, we're going in to pull over. So if you have dumbbells, you're gonna be laying down. Bands, you're gonna be sitting up. You're gonna do pull backs. Jen's gonna demonstrate that. Okay. All right, pup. Come on, boy. Are you awake? Watch out, pup. No, he's hey, hey, we're not playing, we're not playing. Go. Just he's like, oh, let's play. Pull back. I'm ready. Instead of the tricep where you're moving and bending at the triceps, you're going with the Moving at your shoulders yep. and pulling it back. Dumbbells starting up here. First, you're kind of in coming the back and then back up. So we're gonna have a slight bend in the elbows, and then that's gonna stay locked in place. Coming back. So you should feel it in your serratus muscles, which are just in front of your lats on your rib cage, pretty much up under your armpits. Coming up back down there you go if you do have a bench and you're using dumbbells you can do the same thing on a bench so you can get right here push dumbbell up here like this get over onto it and then from here you're gonna set your butt down come back here back up just like that if you're doing it like this make sure that you're not lifting your hips as you go back and then sinking them to come back up. That's not doing anything. We're keeping the hips in place, moving at the shoulders, coming back, and then coming up forward. There we go. There you go. So that's pullovers if you do have a bench and dumbbells. There we go. Going in to set three here. I'm all over the place. <laughs> Musical pullovers. Let's go. Come down. Try to keep the elbows kind of tucked in. They're not flaring out. They're tucked in. Coming back. And then up. Back. And then up. No matter which, uh, which equipment you're using, your elbows should not be bending. They should have a slight bend, and then they lo you lock that in place. Here we go. One set left. I keep smacking these things. Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. I'm gonna have to encroach on your area, please. There we go. I guess I could move, but I didn't think about it. Ah, squeeze, come up. Squeeze. Oh, yeah. Come on. 
Don't forget to breathe. Exhaling as you're pulling it back up. Last one. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, next we're going in to scapular rows. So for these, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our weights. Actually, don't need that heavy. And we're going to get in bent over row position like this. Just let them hang nice straight back. And then we're going to try to squeeze our shoulder blades together. Come back down, back up. So your arms actually aren't moving. Here we go. Come up, squeeze, back down. Squeeze, back down. You should feel it in between the shoulder blades. Come up, down, come up, down. I'm trying to work on improving the posture. Squeeze, squeeze. If you need to, you can even kind of get a little split stance going here, or you can do them one at a time, just like that. That way it alleviates maybe a little low back uh, pain or discomfort if you're having that. Here we go. So these ones are going to help if you kind of have that hunched look. It's going to help straighten your back up. Here we go. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Come back. Squeeze. Let's go. Let's go. I'm starting to catch fire now. Let's go, come on. Ah. Here we go, it seems so easy. It does. But they burn. If you have bands, you could also do these seated if you want. Here we go. Going back into it. Squeeze. Squeeze. Let's go. Get those shoulder blades together. Back down. Let's go. Squeeze and hold. Oh, back down. There we go. I'm just going to stretch that out for a second. Oh. oh man, if you stretch like that, oh, you can feel it. You didn't really think about that. It's tense. About that being a little muscle back there. Here we go. Come up and back down. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, come on, come on, reps left. Oh, we got one more. Here we go. Whew. All right, 30 second break, and then we're going into good mornings. For good mornings, we do not need heavy weight or heavy resistance. So, it's similar to an RDL, except this time we are bending at the lower back. So, slight bend in the knees. Bending at the hips and lower back, going down, coming back up. Use light resistance, you will feel this later. You don't have to necessarily feel it in your back right now, but you'll feel it tomorrow or later in the day. Good controlled movements. Slowly bending at that lower back, coming down, coming back up. When you're at the bottom of the movement, it's a slow change from down to up. We're not taking it down and then trying to pull it back up super fast. There we go. We're just slowly trying to strengthen the lower back without creating an injury. So that's really important on the low back. It's so easy to overdo it and then you have an injury. So every time you perform this workout, then you can go up in resistance if you need based on the previous workout and how you feel after. There we go. So we are bending at the lower back here. Coming up. There we go. 
Good controlled movements. Here we go. One more. I'm just going to there. <laughs> oh. Come on now. I'm going to leave them there. All right, going to set three here. Here we go. Coming down and back. And down and back up. Good controlled movements. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. And then back down. There we go. Started to feel it. I started feeling it on that one. Remember, nice and easy. We're not trying to overdo it here. Slowly build that low back. Here we go. Last one. Come down and back up. And down and back up. Good controlled movements here. Don't forget to breathe. Go at your own pace. <clears throat> Here we go. 30 second break. Then we're going in to concentration curls. We're going to do one arm at a time here. I think I'm going to go up. Resistance again. So we're going to get that split stance. Feet nice and wide. If you have bands, the band is going to be under the opposite foot that you're curling with. So here, we're going to place the hand on the knee. Coming straight here. Curling up. Coming back down. The arm can just hang. We're trying to take out the shoulder here. So now we're forcing just strictly the bicep to perform the movement because it's in that dead hang position. If you want to make it a little tougher, don't go all the way straight when you come down. Keep it slight bent so you keep uh, tension on the bicep at all times. Come up, squeeze, come back down. Focus strictly on the bicep. Let's go. If you want, you can also get into a kneeling position. The knee that uh, is up, that's the side you're going to be curling on. Put the back of your arm up against the inner thigh, and you can curl like that as well. There we go. So I'll do it this time, switching sides. I'm going to do it while I'm kneeling. Here we go. You could also do this on a bench if you wanted. So the back of the arm, the tricep, is up against the thigh, and it's bracing. It's kind of similar to doing a preacher curl if you were at the gym. Just like that. I prefer just to do the, the dead hangs. Squeeze. Squeeze. There we go. Whew. Doing good, huh? I concentrate on those. I thought what we do here is uh, we skip the break. Alright. Try to curl. 45 seconds and then we'll All just keep going through. for another 15 afterwards. Alright. Let's do it. Try to really tear them up. As you curl up, try to get the pinky a little higher than the thumb. And supination. You see the bicep contract a little more. Come on. Come up. Control the weight up. Control the weight down. We're not swinging it. It's not coming like that. Slow and controlled. Keep going. We're not stopping. When the bell rings, we'll switch real quick. Push it out. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. Switch real quick. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Keep pushing. Ignore that bell when it goes off. We're going to keep pushing. Don't even think about putting it down. Squeeze. Come on. 
Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. Come on. Uh, keep pushing. Uh, keep pushing. Uh, one more. Uh, Woo! Here we go. Uh, that was a fun one right there. Good job. Good stuff. Woo! Pump the biceps up there right at the end again. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. All right, if you like this workout, smash that like button. Boom! If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and be sure to join the community at AchievePeak.com. Now it's time to go check your biceps out in the mirror because I know that's what you're going to do. <laughs> see you guys.